More than a decade later, what once was the nation's most talked about story is now just memories. Our daughter, who was quite young at the time, um, when they escaped from Texas, was fearful that they were going to come here. And sure enough, a week or two later, they were here. We were in Cripple Creek when it came on that the Texas 7 was caught in Woodland. Uh, we thought, oh my goodness. For Woodland Park, the Texas 7 gang will always be part of its history as the small town unknowingly welcomed the men, inviting them to church groups. They were here for about three weeks and we didn't know about it until after the event. Four of the men were caught in an RV park in the town and one committed suicide. Meanwhile, just a few miles away, two of the fugitives were hiding out at the old Holiday Inn near Garden of the Gods and I-25. A van was found behind what was in, I think, the Hungry Farmer restaurant. Arms worked the scene from start to finish, his role to update both the local and national media. I did somewhere in the ballpark of 180 plus interviews in a 32 hour period. Arms says his department learned a lot during those few days. He says looking back, it's still frightening to think about what could have happened. Those fugitives with the notoriety they had were here in our community.